In this video, I'm going to show you how to fade a video clip in, fade a video clip out, as well as discuss the three ways you can export footage using Video Leap. You can save footage to your camera roll, you can send footage to someone using iMessage, and you can save it to other devices using the Files app. I've loaded the video clip you just saw into Video Leap on my phone. First, I'll play the clip to where I want to fade the clip in. Just before this zoom in. Now that I know where I want the opacity to return to 100%, I'll scrub back to the beginning of the clip and press the diamond icon to add a keyframe, which will be symbolized using a pink diamond. Then I'll tap on the video clip and tap on Opacity and take it down from 100 to 0. This will fade the clip to black. A keyframe will be added to the very beginning of the clip. It's symbolized by a pink diamond. Now I'll scrub forward in the clip to where I want the opacity to return to 100% just before the zoom in as I previously discussed. Once I'm at the exact point, I'll bring the slider from 0 back up to 100, which will return the clip to normal and fade it in. Like this. A keyframe will be automatically added at that point. Now I'll scrub back to the beginning of the clip, play the clip, and show you the fade in. That looks great. To fade a clip out, you do the same thing except in reverse, and you don't need to add two keyframes at the end of the clip. Let me show you what I mean. Here's the very end of the clip where I want it to fade to black. I'll scrub back a little bit, just to check where I want the clip to start to fade out. And then I'll move to the very end of the clip, and then bring the slider from 100 down to 0, which will fade the clip out. Now I'll scrub back to the beginning of the clip and play the whole clip. The clip has faded in, and I zoom in on the rabbit. Let's look at the rest of the clip, and you'll see the clip fade out by the very end. It'll fade out to black. There are three different ways to export footage using Video Leap. First, I'll tap on Export so I can export the footage to the camera roll on my phone. To do this, I'll set the resolution to 1080p, leave the frames per second where they are, and then tap on Photos. Immediately, the project will begin to export. Don't close your app or switch between apps while this happens. The footage has now been exported to my camera roll. If I tap on export one more time, I can send this clip to someone else using iMessages or Apple Messages. This time I'll leave the resolution where it is and tap on messages. The project will export once more and when it's done, a messages conversation window will open up. Then I can choose a contact that I want to send the clip to. In this case, I'll send it to Monique. Once I address the message, and it appears like this, I'll just tap on send. The conversation window will close, and the clip will be sent using messages. This may take a few minutes because it's a video. Notice the blue line at the top of the screen. Once it reaches the right side, you'll hear a sound, meaning that the video will be delivered to the contact I've chosen. Once you hear that sound, the video should be delivered. Look for the timestamp that says delivered right underneath the video. This time, I'll export the same clip to the Files app so I can use it on my iPad. I'll swipe down and choose Save to Files. You can also choose one of the many apps shown 
on the share sheet screen. Once I tap on save to files, you'll notice that the project will export once more. Then you'll need to go to the files app, rename your clip. In this case, I'll call it rabbit in the park and choose a location to save your clip. Using the Files app, you can access this clip on other devices connected to your Apple ID. Once you've renamed your clip and chosen the destination to save it, don't forget to tap Save. Just type the name that you want to call your clip here so you can find it easily. To save time, I've sped up typing and removed the keyboard clicks. I can't actually type this fast. Once you tap on save, the clip will be exported to your iCloud drive through the Files app. Now I'll access the Files app and go to the location where I just saved the clip. And there you can see my clip, Rabbit in the Park. To play the clip from the iCloud drive, all I need to do is tap on it and tap play. This is the exact same clip playing from the iCloud drive. To return to your iCloud drive location, just tap the screen once more and then tap on done.